We're back at it, guys. Quarter inch drive, flex head ratchets. I think I showed maybe, I'm guessing, this might be my ninth one I'm showing so far. I got like five left. Um, but before we get in that, um, you guys are getting sick of seeing these uh, SKX X frames? Well, tomorrow's the last day you'll see them. This is a seven piece set. SAE, six point box. 216 positions, six Paul design. They got to sound like no other ratchet wrench. And I own a lot of ratchet wrenches, guys. Anybody has followed me knows the channel, knows that. So this is going to go to a lucky subscriber, whether you subscribed today, yesterday, last week, last month, or last year. And when's the giveaway? The giveaway is tomorrow. Tomorrow at 3 o'clock, these are going to be gone to a lucky subscriber. I give away a lot of tools, guys. Every month, at least two tools I'm going to give away. So I'll say one every two weeks, give or take. Maybe milestones, maybe more. But my goal is to, is to, is to give away 50 tools this year. That's a big goal. You know, and I've already, I'm already in the low 20s since, oh, since I got monetized in uh, early uh, October. Um, I think this is number 21. I'm not sure, but that's counting last year, though. We're not going to count that. But So anybody has subscribed, got a chance to win them. They're not a bad ratchet. They're supposed to be all made in USA. Uh, 5R, 2 aren't. That's a star in itself, guys. You'll have to look at that video. But you won't see them after tomorrow, guys. Tomorrow, they're going to be gone. I do a lot of tool reviews on this channel, guys. Anybody that, has, that does know a channel already knows that. I do middle-of-the-road tools. 80% of the tools I do, 80%, that's, a, that's, quite, a, that's a quite a large amount, are middle-of-the-road tools. You know, uh, quality tools uh, that are, are affordable. That's where my main focus is on this channel. I do some cheaper ones to have a, cro a cross-reference, and I do some higher-end ones. But those are usually sprinkled on the side uh, before and after, just to get a good uh, feeling for uh, what's out there. Okay, what we got here today? Oh, we got a good one. Genius. No, guys, I'm not a genius. The ratchet is. This is a quarter-inch drive. Ratchet made by Genius. It is 72 tooth. Quarter inch dry flex head. Genius. Genius since 1975. I didn't know that. They're made in Taiwan. Let me see it there. Taiwan. And the model number is 282262P. P as in Paul or Peter. Bought on Amazon. It was approximately $35 minus shipping. Shipping will probably put you up there a little bit higher, but uh, that's how life is. 72 tooth. It is 7 and 5 sixteenths long. Somebody's going to ask me that even, even after they watch your video. Someone will still ask me about that. How long is it? Well, I'm, telling, I'm showing you here. It's 7 and 5 sixteenths long, which is a good length. Most of the ones I've done in this series have been six to seven range. I think one, one or two, maybe eight. No, no real long, long handle ones yet. There might be a separate series, but mostly just uh, mid length, uh, regular length, quarter inch drive flex head ratchets. Genius is in the house. Let's take a gander. There's the model number again. See if we can get in a focus for you. There's the model number. The chrome on this is very nice. I do like the chrome. I love the handle. I have another ratchet like this in 3H drive. I'll probably show you in a second. It's a hard plastic. It's got a little piece of rubber there. I don't know why. I kind of like that, though, because you don't slip off of it. It's like an O-ring. So you could, you could swap that out if you got an O-ring kit, right, if it got all beat up. I like the hard plastic. It reminds me of some of the snap-on handles. feels really good in my hands. Now, I like round-headed ratchets. I just got a nostalgia about them. I grew up with them. I'm in my 60s now, and in the early 80s, the round head ratchets were, uh, were pretty uh, much all over the place. They were probably very, very popular, and you didn't see a lot of the, the teardrop and the pear-shaped and the low-profile heads back then. But So I'm, par I, I gotta, I'm partial to these ratchets, and you know, it comes down to preference. And the main thing about ratchets, it comes down to what feels in your hand, guys. Let me know how you feel about that. If that tool don't feel good in your hand, I pretty much going to tell you what. You're not going to pick it up. 
you're going to do a job that you don't want to, job, you don't want to do to begin with because it's a sucky, greasy, uh, crappy, uh, hard-to-reach area, and you're not in a good mood to begin with, you're not going to grab it if you don't, it doesn't feel good in your hands. I know, I know for a fact because I don't. Let's check out the uh, D-Temp ball, which I prefer. It's not, a, it's not a deal breaker for me, but I do like to see it. It's pretty uh, crisp. This is brand new, guys. It hasn't been used yet, used yet, so it is an unboxing. Let me see how it feels. I'll try to get that focus here for you guys. Take a gander. I love roundhead ratchets. Nostalgia. It's really, really tight. It's not flapping around. It does have the thumb wheel in the back to change direction. Another thing I was surprised about this ratchet, too, is there's not a lot of play in the anvil. A lot of your roundhead ratchets were, were uh, notorious for a lot of play, just the way they're designed. But in general, a roundhead ratchet, they're usually a strong design. I haven't took this apart yet, but I'm sure it's going to be a strong little ratchet. It's got the right length. Let's see how big the head is. The head is, uh, I'll put a caliper on it. It's the first round one I did in this series. And round heads are pretty much, they usually got a good size head, as you guys know. This one's not horrible. 25.89. I'm going to compare it to a, a China quarter inch dry flex head. Just to show you, it's not, it's not really big. The chunky monkey next to it, you know? And uh, that's, what, that's what happens when you get to China. You start getting these uh, chunky monkeys. So you, you can see it's not overly huge. And when you get to China, there's another thing. <laughs> I showed this ratchet. I'm trying to get that focus for you guys. Probably right there. Look at that. The garbage. I had that in a series because I do a couple of low ends. But let's get back to this. Hardly any movement at all. This is a sturdy little ratchet. All right, let's put a socket on here. I call this the meat potatoes. It is brand new. It does got some back drag. I noticed that from the get-go, but what's, what's here? Let's hear the 72 tooth count first. 72 tooth to 90 is what I consider the sweet spot. You guys might think otherwise. Uh, I always respect everybody else's opinion. This one's a little tight, but it is brand new. It could, this one could use some lube. I might take this apart because I know I'll be using it. It's not binding or skipping, but it, this one needs lube. I can tell you right now. Let's check the back drag on this. Back drag is hard to... Obviously, I can feel it. You can't feel it over the camera. And I know someone said, well, do it the way uh, Project Farm does. Yeah, he's got three million subscribers. I got 3,000. I got a lot to learn, a lot to get better, obviously. <laughs> it, does got a, it does got a good amount of back drag. But being fair to the ratchet, it is brand new. I always do this, too, if you can pick it up. Yeah, so you can see it's got a lot of back drag. Watch. I always try to give an honest opinion. I don't, I don't hide nothing from you guys. I, I'm, uh, so far, every tool I've shown, uh, I bought with my own money, so I have nothing to gain by lying to anybody or, you know, not telling the truth. This one's got some back drag. A little more I like to see, but then again, it's a round-headed ratchet. They're kind of famous for that. This one needs to be broken in, I'm sure, and probably some lube. I'm not going to condemn it because, number one, I like the brand a lot, and number two, I love the handle. I like the length, and I, I love the old, the old uh, round-headed ratchets. And I know it's going to loosen up. I'll tell you how I know because I got its big brother, not its real big brother, its three-eighths. And see how it's got the bent handle? I use this for spark plugs in my Chevelle. I love this ratchet. This one's a lot better for back drag, not as bad as that one, but I've had it for over a year. I love this ratchet. That'll probably be coming up in a 3H drive uh, series, but I love the handles on them, guys. They feel so good in the hands, that hard plastic. Overall, I, I like the ratchet, but then again, I'm partial to round head of ratchets, nostalgia. It gives me, gives me that feeling when I was young again. Um, it does got a lot of back drag. I'll probably be taking this apart to loop it up because I know I'm going to want to use it. 
Very, very nice design. I, I, I love that round. I love round headed ratchets. I don't like the back drag. So that's the only thing negative I can say about this ratchet. And the head, you know, the head, like I said, the head's not uh, overly big. It's not as small as a. Uh, let, let me compare it to uh, the Dewalt head there. The Dewalt was so small. Obviously, it's not going to be that small in width. Not even much to beat that, you know. Um, somebody said it had a cobalt. That was pretty close. I don't own any cobalts, but I may buy one just to see that. But and there's a Williams. The Williams is a longer one. I may have that in the upcoming video or series. So it's not overly big, you know. Overall thoughts? It's a cloudy ratchet. 72 tooth is a sweet spot. I love the handle. I love the chrome. I love it's got a detent ball in there. I love it's pretty solid. The head is not it's not big, it's not small. It's probably just about right for a round headed ratchet. Round headed ratchets are never small. You know, look at the roto heads, eh? How big those get with the uh, when you got the two saddles on the side. But back drag is heavy on this though. So that's the only thing I can I can say is this uh, I may take this apart and loop it up and uh, use it for a while and do another video. I probably will anyways. I'll be keeping that ratchet. That one's not going anywhere. So overall, I think it'd be good for a, a weekend warrior, do your software, uh, semi pro, if you like round headed ratchets. You know? Back drag's the only thing I didn't like about it, but then again, it hasn't been used yet. I'll do a follow up in about three months on that, but I do love, I love the way it feels, I love the way it looks. I just like the throwback design in general. All right, guys, uh, tomorrow's a big day. So tomorrow at, at 3 o'clock, don't miss that video. One of you guys is getting these. Have you guys, were you guys getting sick of seeing these? I was probably getting sick of showing them, but, you know, I try to promote it because not everybody watches every video. It's just, this is where YouTube is. They're gone tomorrow, guys. And then uh, after that one's gone, uh, when I hit 4,000 subscribers, if I ever do, <laughs> uh, I got some, I'm going to give away two nice things. I'm not going to tell you now. I'll tell you maybe next week or so, but, uh, all right. I went out long enough here, but, uh, overall, not a bad ratchet. Let me know what you guys think. Leave some feedback and, uh. I always get back to you. That's another thing. I always get back to you guys. Is it hard sometimes? Oh, yeah. When I got a couple hundred comments in one video, it's very hard. I need a secretary, but I still do it. Okay, guys, take care.